were some tense moments in Price Hill this afternoon as SWAT teams were called in to nab a murder suspect described as armed and dangerous. It also meant lockdowns for Elder and Seton High Schools. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live with how this standoff unfolded. Tom? Well, things began happening around 11 o'clock here at the Cedar Grove Apartments when members of the Cincinnati Police Fugitive Apprehension Team came here looking for Al Rashid. He was wanted in connection with the October 3rd murder of Michael Howe in Bond Hill. When Al Rashid wouldn't surrender, though, neighbors were surprised to see SWAT teams quickly called in. Art Phelps, his wife and son, were enjoying the fall weather Tuesday morning when police suddenly descended on the Cedar Grove apartments next door to their house. They were looking for murder suspect Al Rashid. It's scary, you know, because you know, I got a young, I got a one year old, you know, and, and it's scary to, to know that you, the guy's just walking around with these pistols in their hands. Al Rashid was wanted for the October 3rd murder of Michael Howe in Bond Hill. The fugitive apprehension unit tracked him to Price Hill and knocked on his door. Police say he hid at first, then snuck out a back door. He broke into another apartment in the building. A uh, neighbor in that apartment actually confronted him. He fled that apartment. He eventually wound up in the basement of this building where, between us covering the exits and the environment that he ran into, he was stuck. Once the SWAT team was called, Al Rashid surrendered to police without incident. They did a good job. Police did a good job. Both nearby Seton and Elder High Schools were locked down for more than an hour. You just never know. You know, you think he's in the basement and then you find out that he got out somewhere and would rather be safe than sorry. At Elder, Principal Tom Otten says the response was automatic and well practiced. It's announced over the public address system here at school and, and it, all the teachers are schooled in it and the students have practiced it so we know what to do. Seton staff and 551 girls followed their lockdown plan to the letter. The students remained calm, staff remained calm, and we kept communication with our parents as well as with the Cincinnati Police Department. Now, Al Rashid has been charged with murder and should appear in court on that charge in the morning. Ironically, Art Phelps, the neighbor, has been active for years in SERVE, the Cincinnati Initiative to Reduce Violence. He told me there are a lot of nice people living in this apartment building, but he added he had no idea someone like Al Rashid, a charged murderer now, was living so close by. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Price Hill.